is your favourite hooligan memory for you when you look back that kind of sort of sums it up the buzz of it all um, just a bit of everything we used to go in the early 80s to be truthful organising the coach going going into the pubs doing the fucking you used to not being funny you used to do the fucking fruit machines do the thing there was no alarms on them you used to do the porto do whatever fucking get yourself a few quid sell the beer on the coach you know, me, me dad had a pub, although he was a taxi driver, he ended up becoming a publican. So I used to sell beer on the coach. So it was a little bit of a buzz organising the coaches, always selling a bit of beer, doing a fucking food machine. Maybe if there's a nice shop, you'd be having a chore up. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and then if you ended up having a punch up and you come, you come first all of a sudden and your team's won, it's a fucking day. It's a day I've done more in a fucking day than some of these cunts have done in a lifetime, you know what I mean? Some of these pricks that look down and read the paper and go, oh my God, do you see that documentary, that Jason Mariner? He, what a horrible man. Horrible in their eyes, but horrible in whose eyes, you know what I mean? You know, that's, that's their, they're entitled to their opinion. And, and the future now, you do, you're do you going to start doing these audience with shows? Yeah, I've done a few audience with, you know what I mean? Howard Marks and Dave Courtney and whatever. To be honest, it's these kind of people that have told me, listen, turn it round. You know, um, I'll get up there, people can ask me any question. They, you know, it's their night more than it is my night, you know what I mean? But they ask me any question. We try and have a laugh, we have a light hour at the same time. Um, and just, uh, to, to, I'll just tell the truth. I've got the answers. Because I've been in it, I've done it, do you know what I mean? Um, and and uh, basically a lot of people, you know, they ask me about the programme, the documentary, uh, uh, the book, the, the, this, that and the other, and just, yeah, just general things. But it's all right, it's a good night out, you want to book one. So you're uh, you're like a mini celeb now, aren't you? A bit of a celeb I wouldn't say mini, I'm fucking over on about three stone overweight, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, if you, you know, in the football world, I suppose, in the, in the football eye or whatever, you know, I suppose to a certain... I don't look at myself like that, to be totally honest with you. I get embarrassed watching myself and I, and even reading about myself that I've written is, is, is like, quite funny. But to a certain extent... You know, there was a lot more that happened. Don't forget, I had a fucking business cost me, you know, that cost me 10 grand to open the fucking door. But, you know, I had two recovery trucks, but they both got crushed when I was in Wandsworth, you know what I mean? Because the tax run out. Council don't give a fuck, do they? They crushed them. You know, that's 25 fucking 30 grand done there in cold blood, you know what I mean? So I have got to turn around. Not bitter, not bitter, don't give a fuck, do you know what I mean? Got to turn it around. I don't forget the work I was getting from him. And then the six years out of your life, or I know I've done a carpet out of six, but... You know, just you know, you know, and then me misses, me children. You know, they've all gone through. They have it harder to be truthful. You know, you know. I mean, apart from the days when you go in your fucking cell, and you know a screw, you think a screw's been in there, and you say, Governor, look, the fucking. I know you've been in there, and but it ain't been a screw. It's like because I moved me bed off the fucking wall X amount, but it's the cockroach that can't. He's put it back. You know what I mean? And uh, um, final question: Why should people uh, get the book? Uh. Because I seriously believe it gives them a very, very in-depth insight into what the BBC can do. Not only the BBC, whoever make these documentaries. Um, it's got some funny stories about the old days of the truth and what have you. But it's for like-minded people. And not only like-minded people, it gives you an insight into these documentaries. Not just about football violence, about all of these documentaries. There's so much more behind the scenes, behind the... The, the background, I mean, listen, they spent £300,000 on the documentary on me. That's the most they've ever spent on a documentary in England alone. Do you know what I mean? Was I worthwhile? I hope I was. All right, mate. What? Over there? No. Tony you. No. No way. Well, you've been cut across your face. What, what, how many of them? Oh, what happened? Nah. Yeah, of course they do. You'll be alright, son. Where are you now? Alright, mate.
No, no, no worries. All right, mate. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Nice. They had everything. Nunchuckers, balls in fucking socks. And really? Fucking, yeah.